Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a good day today and time for today's video on versatility in summer fishing. And, uh, you know, you got to be versatile all year long, but specifically in the summertime you have to because really there's more things going on in the summertime as far as, you know, what the fish are doing, different options that you have to fish than any other time of the year. And I sort of want to run through that because I'm actually on my way to uh, Stockton Lake right now. I got an on-the-water lesson. Uh, by the way, if you guys are interested in any of these underwater lessons, you can shoot me a uh, just shoot me a message on my uh, uh, a private message on my Facebook page or Andy Block a Professional Angler. We can go over that a little bit. But specifically here today on Stockton is a good example of how you're going to have to be versatile to catch fish all day. So I'm going to sort of run you run you guys through how I'm going to approach the day today um, and try to be versatile doing it. First of all, I think one of the things you know that we need to remember is there's always in the summertime of the year there's sort of three distinct populations of bass that are existing in the same lake you've got a population of those fish that are deep you know they're out there on that hard structure and that 10 to 30 foot of water you know they relate to brush piles to drop offs to rock piles whatever's out there <clears throat> those fish will stay out there all the way through fall even from now then you've got some fish that are suspended in the summertime of the year. Those are those fish that get out on those points and suspend. They're the ones that you see coming up in the middle of the lake chasing shad on the surface. They just are sort of shad roamers, that type of deal. And then you have a population, a percentage of the bass that live shallow all summer long. They basically set up on whatever shallow cover is available. Some of the bass are up cruising looking for perch and bluegill spawning all summer. And I'm going to guess, in, if you had to break it up, I think that probably 50% of the bass are deep in a man-made lake in the summertime. Probably 10% of the bass are roamers and suspenders. And then 40% of the bass are the shallow bass. And uh, so I'll sort of run through the day how I'm going to do it today. Now, it's stocking today, and one of the things I always like to do in the summertime is I always like to start shallow and sort of get a sampling to see how those fish are biting, if they're biting up shallow or not. For example, at Stockton, the water's a little bit high. I'll probably do some bush flipping right off the bat, maybe throw a topwater a little bit. There's always a good topwater bite in the summertime, anytime you have low light conditions, and uh, sort of get a feel for that. And if you have a lake that has a lot of shallow water cover, it doesn't really matter what the water visibility is but if you have a lot of shallow water cover a summertime shallow water pattern it can be good all day long you can catch them all day long today like i said if the fish are biting shallow i mean we may stay flipping all day long maybe throw in a square bill crankbait up shallow we'll just have to see how it goes but if that's not working and say for example it's 11 o'clock in the morning and we're just not doing that good you know, that's when I'm going to consider moving out off the bank and start fishing deeper. And the best structures that you can fish during the summertime of the year, guys, are <clears throat> main lake and secondary points. That's just where your biggest populations of bass are going to be on any man-made impoundment. Um, and it just depends on a lot of different variables as far as how those fish are going to position on those areas. If you've got water visibility between two to four foot, which a lot of lakes do, you're going to have a lot of fish out on those point ends and sides on the brush the hard breaks uh, standing or submerged timber uh, any cover that you can find in that 10 to 30 foot range that's just where they're going to be and uh, also they can also be off the sides of the points too don't don't overlook uh, you know going down the sides of the points 50 or 75 yards so that's going to be my second option there and after i sample both of those a little bit of the shallow water, a little bit of the deeper water, then that's really going to point me in the right direction as far as, how, as far as how I need to spend the rest of my day. But, you know, a lot of it is situational too with the weather because the weather, you know, it really affects bass a lot in the summertime of the year. And anytime you have wind or varying cloud conditions, that's going to either take away some opportunities that you have or it's going to create some opportunities that you, that you have. So let the weather dictate as far as how you fish. And a good rule of thumb is, you know, the windier it is and the lower the light conditions, the better that shallow bite is going to be. 
and vice versa. If you don't have a lot of wind and it's bright and it's slicked over, um, that's where the deeper fish are going to come into play. And in, another thing, guys, in the summertime, never overlook having a walking topwater, like a, you know, some type of a walking topwater, Zara Spook, Mega Bass, Giant Dog X, Sexy Dog, whatever you want to throw. Have that thing out on the deck at all the time because if you're fishing out on those main and secondary points <clears throat> all the time you'll see fish come up occasionally just out of nowhere and start busting and you can catch good ones in the summertime doing that i i've caught lots of three to five pound bass you know maybe one or two in a day's time just you know dragging the football head out deep or something and i catch those fish when they come up schooling occasionally uh, just randomly it can be a two o'clock in the afternoon it can be at nine o'clock in the morning you just never know but a good walk in the top water is a good bait to have out there so anyway just re just realize it doesn't matter i don't care if you're fishing you know a muddy lake or a, a clear lake there's always going to be those two populations of fish that live um, bass are just like people they're individuals they got their own personalities and uh, some of them just like to live shallow and some of them like to live deep so I'll let you guys know how it goes today up here. Uh, like I said, got a trip today on Stockton. Tomorrow going to Tabor Rock Lake for another trip. So we'll keep you updated and we'll let you know how these summer fish are biting. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And we'll be back soon. See ya.